All right, it's the di- it's <laughs> uh, it's the Jimmy Z Daily Commentary, and I have just completed my taxes, and I want you to know I finished my tax paperwork with a full three hours to spare. What's really great here in Orange County, where I live, in Southern California, around the L.A. area, there are three post offices that stay open and collect mail and postmark mail until midnight on tax day. And so there are people all over Los Angeles. You might have to drive an hour or an hour and a half to get to one of these specific post offices. And the one in Orange County is less than 10 minutes away from me. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I allow myself to procrastinate until the very last day. Because I know getting to the post office is going to be easy. But um, anyway, so that's taken care of. What I want to talk about today is another angle on the Cliven Bundy cattle ranch story out of Nevada. And you know I've been saying that I'm not really comfortable with the people who are the militia people who are showing up and they are ready to fight the federal government. And it's almost as if they want shooting to start. They want this this second American revolution to begin. But one of the guys said something on television, and I've got the audio for you. It is shocking, and it illustrates exactly why I've got a problem with these people. And what's even worse is that I'm being attacked. I, I, I'm not complaining. I can take attacks from anyone. You can say whatever you want, And I will still stand up for the truth. I don't care if you attack me. But the fact is, what this guy has said, let me get his name, make sure everything is correct. This is Richard Mack, and he is the former Graham County, Arizona sheriff. We were actually strategizing to put all the women up at the front. If they're going to start shooting, it's going to be women that are going to be televised all across the world getting shot by these rogue federal officers. Okay, so this never came to pass. Thank God. But they were strategizing. Their tactic was that they were going to have women as human shields so that if the federal government began shooting at the protesters, women would be shot first. Women would die first. This is beyond deplorable. This is disgusting. And I have people, I have women, conservative women, telling me that I must be against women fighting for freedom. I must be against women patriots. One woman who's very old, she looks like she's 75, 80 years old, she said that uh, I must be in favor of women being barefoot and pregnant. I've been told that I don't have the courage to stand up against the federal government. And I've been told a number of times that, oh, no, these people would never really do this. They wouldn't really use women as human shields. There is no excuse for this. There is no rationalizing it. There is no making it reasonable or logical. In fact, if this was a Muslim in Iran or Iraq or Afghanistan, all these people who are trying to excuse what this guy said would be throwing a fit about how evil the followers of Islam are. But this guy is out there. He's fighting the federal government, so he must be a good guy. And what, what he's saying must make sense. Well, it doesn't make sense. It's dishonorable. It's deplorable. It's horrifying that somebody supposedly on the conservative side, on the right wing, would say something so outrageous, I'm having a hard time finding anything comparable that the left wing in America has said. You remember the Occupy mob, right? The Occupy movement? What if someone from the Occupy mob in Los Angeles or New York, where they had huge crowds, had said, yeah, our tactic, our strategy is going to be putting women in front of us so that if the police come shooting they're going to shoot women first. And this guy, this guy supposedly is fighting the federal government because he's upset that the federal government has too much power, and it does. 
But this guy wants women to be in front and women to be shot first so that the pictures and the video that people see all around the world are women being shot. He wants to use these women as propaganda, anti-government propaganda. This is psychotic crap. Don't fall for it. Stop giving these guys praise when they say stuff that is, is evil. This is wicked thinking. We're going to put the women in front of us so that they get shot first, so that people all around the world can see that the American government is shooting women. We were actually strategizing to put all the women up at the front. If they're going to start shooting, it's going to be women that are going to be televised all across the world getting shot by these rogue federal officers. No, that's cowardice. At the, at the best, that's cowardice. And I've got people telling me that they would never have really done it. But here's this guy on television. It was an idea that was that seriously considered that he talked about it on Fox News. No excuses. No rationalizing. It's time to stand up against the crazy people, no matter what side they're on. I'm Jimmy Z. I'll be back tomorrow and the Big Jimmy Z Show this weekend. The Jimmy Z Show.